Hey YouTube, Dead Farang here again. Whilst in Chiang Mai recently, I stayed at the Porn Ping Tower Hotel. I booked it online at deadfarang.com and it cost me 32 Australian dollars per night, which is about 23 US dollars or 830 Thai baht. It's situated on the outskirts of the old city and is only a short walk to Loy Croft Road. It's an 18 storey building. 20 years ago, this would have been the place to stay. You can see it would have been very luxurious once upon a time. It has been neglected and is a little bit run down and definitely feeling the test of time. My room was on level 18. My first thought was, oh shit, it's got carpet. I don't like to stay in hotel rooms with carpet. That's just my personal preference. I know others prefer carpet over tiles, but I prefer tiles. I stayed here four nights and over that time the room did grow on me. It was on level 18, it was very quiet, the room was very big. As you can see, the room furnishings are a little old fashioned, a little outdated. Did have a great view of Chiang Mai, you can see the mountains in the background there. Whilst I was in Chiang Mai, they were going through a heat wave. The weather was about 41 degrees all day, every day. It was absolutely insane. I saw a dog chasing a cat and they were both walking. Plasma TV. Again, the furniture is very old. They had this thing here. You're meant to jump on it, it's meant to give you some type of foot massage. That needs to go. It's probably still there from 20 years ago. You had two free bottles of water. The mini bar is very lacklustre, few cans of soft drink, few beers and some water. The bathroom is passable, but I still share it in thongs. I always do when I'm travelling around, it's just a habit that I've picked up as a kid when I was a little bit OCD and paranoid about catching tinea. Plenty of storage space, few extra V pillows in the cupboard. There is no in-room safe, but they do have safety deposit boxes at reception. And the dressing gowns. I think they're an old-fashioned item in hotel rooms. No one ever wears them. They can go. The thongs, slippers, they can go too. Buffet breakfast was included. You had your choice of cereals, fruits, egg station over there where you could get any type of egg you wanted. Scrambled, omelette, boiled or fried, your choice. Coffee, tea, juices, water, breads, toast, croissants, muffins, French toast, local curry with chicken and herbs, rice soup, that's always popular with the Thai people. A selection of vegetables, salads and dressings, plus more Asian and Western dishes. There is a pool and you can order drinks poolside. As you can see, it's a very old building. You can't see it in that picture there, but there are a lot of pigeons flying around. So there it is, Porn Ping Tower Hotel, Chiang Mai. I definitely would not stay at this hotel again if I returned to Chiang Mai. I'll try and find something in the old city. My visit to Chiang Mai was a little disappointing. For me, it just didn't have the X factor to stimulate the senses that Dead Farang requires. So thanks for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a huge thumbs up, leave a comment, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to tell your friends about Dead Farang on YouTube. And remember, bar girls can't eat love. This has been another Dead Farang production.